Hey everyone, it is Wednesday in the Word with Wes. I'm here at High Falls uh, right now. It's one of my favorite places in Bancroft. I wanted you to enjoy the view, uh, but then I'll share uh, some thoughts that I have that this place reminds me about in just a moment. It's a little quieter on this side of the dam, but uh, I wanted you to see that view of the water rushing down into the York River. It's one of my favorite places this time of year in Bancroft. Uh, but maybe in your life right now, you feel kind of like that, that water that's coming out of uh, Baptiste Lake. It just could, could sweep you away uh, with the, the uh, challenges that we're facing, with the difficulties that we're navigating and it was social distancing and things of that nature. And God's word has a reminder for us from Isaiah chapter 43, verse one to three. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Some great reminders for us in that passage. First of all, we don't need to be fear. Why don't we need to fear? Because God has redeemed us. He's given his son Jesus to buy us back for himself, to forgive our sins. He's called at the end of that passage, our savior so we don't need to fear because in the midst of the storms in the midst of the rushing rivers the waters flowing around us he is with us and his word tells us elsewhere he will never leave us he will never forsake us and so today my prayer is that you would not give in to fear but instead you would embrace God's presence as your savior and redeemer in your life and so let's take a moment and pray together god we're grateful for the fact that you would give your only son to forgive our sins you have redeemed us and so today because of jesus we don't need to fear and we can trust in you trust in your presence and trust in your goodness uh, for whatever we face and so we thank you for this day in jesus name amen